I've always had an interest in space, starting as a small kid. I was fascinated with sci-fi stories, Buck Rogers, even the Flash Gordon series. Uh, not with too much in the alien area, but uh, certainly in the space travel and living on other planets. This is the 50th year anniversary of the Futural, the same time that man landed on the moon. That's one small step for man. America, and I think the rest of the world, was fascinated with low-cost housing that would provide for the masses, that would be prefabricated and uh, be able to be shipped around. It was also fascinated with the use of plastics. Plastics. Plastic provided that wonderful avenue that was low cost, no maintenance as it was being advertised, lightweight, structural strong, and easy to ship. What a dream. The history of the Futuro was a little bit short-lived, but it started with Matty Sirenen, who is a Finnish architect, being asked to design a mountain cabin. He then found that this was very popular, although not popular where the mountain cabin was in Finland. Uh, the people up there thought it was an embarrassment on the environment, this plastic spaceship. Although around the world, people really became interested in the Futuro and it took off in the United States. Currently, right now, it's estimated that about close to maybe 50 of these are in existence. Uh, there could be some more that haven't simply been found, but I doubt it. We think the livability of the Futuro is just incredible. We open the front door and there's not a speck of dust in here. That's because the windows are not operable and the door seals up pretty well. But it's wonderful. It was advertised for a family of four. But they're always designed to be sort of a mountain cabin, ski cabin, not so much as a permanent residence. Good evening. The Middle East War produced developments all over the world today. The oil producing countries of the Arab world decided to use their oil as a political weapon. When the oil embargo hit, it had a major impact on the cost of crude oil in which plastics are made from. This became known as the Mercedes Benz of prefabricated housing and it pretty much then just curtailed the manufacturing of any more of the Futuros. They just ceased to exist. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Being that we're celebrating this 50th anniversary of both of these events, the Futuro being 50 years old and Armstrong stepping on the moon, you have to be a custodian of these resources. It just gives you a wonderful sense of place when you're here that you're really in a special place that will never be created again.